morning. Welcome to the YouTube channel. I am Alex and Ames. How's everybody doing today, huh? It is Friday. You have made it through the week. And if you're like a normal person and not like me, today is the end of your week. Hooray. Congratulations. <laughs> we are headed into work this morning at Wilson Toyota here in lovely Ames, Iowa. Uh, I think we're going to have a pretty decent day. I don't think it's as cold as it was yesterday. Yeah, we're starting out at 12 degrees today, and that's where we ended up yesterday. So, um, hopefully that's that's a good omen. Omen? <laughs> Speaking of omens, and uh, uh, which reminds me of conspiracy theories and harkens back to yesterday's video there, uh, I totally believe I am going to do a once a week thing where uh, we discuss some crackpot conspiracy theory because this totally got me on this idea of, of looking up a couple of them and then discussing them with you once a week or something like that. And I just, I found myself rolling on the floor yesterday reading about a couple of these. So look forward to that. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, go back and check it out. It was a short one. I'm trying to keep them as short as possible for you because I know you guys just want to laugh and get on with your day. So today's will be short as well. Uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I was sitting there at work the other day and uh, talking to Kent at work there, and you know, we were discussing different things that we say as salespeople and just as humans in general. And um, the the one of the best ones <clears throat> was, you know, as salespeople, we need to know people's names. It's it's polite. It's how conversation works. It's how you build rapport with the customer, right? So. Uh, you know, and if you've gotten somebody's name in the past, it can be a little bit awkward. And the best thing to do is just be very, very straightforward and say, I'm sorry, what was your name again? And they're like, oh, yeah, that's right. My name is Steve. And then and you say the stupidest dang thing on the planet in response to that. You go, that's right. Well, of course that's right. Like he's going to get his name wrong. Good Lord. But by God, we do it all the time. Oh, yeah. Um... You're from Huxley, right? No, I'm from Boone. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Dumbest thing you could possibly have come out of your mouth. It's like, oh, yes, you are correct. You got your place of residence correct and your name. By God, you should be on Jeopardy. <laughs> oh, man. It just, uh, you know, we, we were just talking that over, it just struck me as how dumb that sounds coming out of my mouth. And I've been doing it for years. We all have. I'm, I'm sure, you know, you and your life have, have had the opportunity to say it as well. Perhaps not as often as we say it, but, uh, you know, it, it could happen anyway. But uh, <laughs> I am going to do my best to not be that stupid in the, in the future moving forward. Perhaps that'll be my 2018 uh, uh, resolution there for the new year. Uh, just stop saying that's right to people when they tell me their name or their, their where they're from or whatever it is. You know, some stupid question that obviously they're going to get right. <laughs> well, I will leave you with that as we head in here. I hope you have a wonderful day today. I hope you get out there today and you kill it. And you make some friends, you make some money, and you have a good time doing it. I will see you back here again tomorrow because, hey, it's a big Saturday, last Saturday of the year, and we're going to be getting hyped up to sell stuff. But I hope you have a wonderful day today, and we shall see you tomorrow.